For her first trip time traveling, the doctor took Rose to Platform 1 in the year 5 billion to observe the Earth when it was consumed by the sun. The doctor introduced Rose to several alien guests that had come to witness the event for fun, which intimidated her. The doctor upgraded Rose's mobile phone so that she could speak to her mother, Jackie, five billion years in the past. After the entire platform shook, the doctor investigated the maintenance pipes with Jabe of the Forest of Cheem. While the doctor was off investigating, Rose insulted the last human, Lady Cassandra, for undergoing so much plastic surgery that she had no humanity left. Cassandra sent the adherents of the repeated meme to knock Rose unconscious and drag her into a viewing gallery, where a sun filter was descending and the unblocked sunlight would kill her. The doctor reversed the filter, but the door was jammed from the heat. Cassandra deactivated the platform's safety measures and teleported away to collect money from the guest's rival's shares. The exaglass in Rose's gallery began to crack and let in sunlight, but the doctor reactivated the force fields just in time. After the sun consumed the earth, Rose made it out of her room. She saw the doctor reverse the relay in Cassandra's teleport that brought Cassandra back to the station. Without her surgeons to moisturize her, Cassandra's skin graft dried out and exploded. TV, the end of the world, though her brain meat survived. TV, New Earth, the doctor left with Rose and traveled back to 21st century Earth, where he told her of the last Great Time War, and how he was the last of the Time Lords. TV, the end of the world, aiming for 1860s Naples but arriving instead in 1869 Cardiff, the doctor and Rose found a deceased woman possessed by a gelf, a creature turned to gas by the Time War. Rose chased after Mr. Sneed and Gwyneth, who had taken the woman's corpse into their hearse. Rose was chloroformed and taken to Sneed and Company, where other zombies had also been animated by the Gelf. The doctor chased after Rose along with Charles Dickens, arriving just in time to rescue her. Rose befriended Gwyneth, who had been born with clairvoyant abilities and saw the future in Rose's mind. In the morgue, the doctor had Gwyneth try and pull the Gelf through the rift using her psychic connection to it from a young age. The Gelf, numbering in the billions rather than just a few, wished to wipe out humanity and take over their bodies. The doctor, Rose and Dickens escaped from the Gelf by filling the room with gas, sucking out the Gelf from the cadavers. Gwyneth, who had already died from contacting the Gelf, lit a match and ignited the gas, trapping them and saving the world. TV, The Unquiet Dead while the doctor and Rose were investigating a time puncture in 2005 Toronto, they became embroiled in a cossibus plot to feed off the time energy of Count Nikolai Artem Livisich when their investigation led them to 1812 St. Petersburg. The doctor was able to placate the cosbis by giving them a time ribbon filled with his temporal energy, and then used the TARDIS to plug the time puncture. Pros, Rose in the snow window, per her request, Rose was taken home. However, Instead of arriving 12 hours later as the doctor promised, Rose found she had been away for an entire year and that Mickey had been blamed by Jackie for her disappearance. While Rose calmed her mother, an alien spacecraft crashed through Big Ben and into the River Thames. After Unit were alerted to the doctor's presence by Rose's mother, Jackie, Unit escorted the doctor and Rose to 10 Downing Street to help deal with the state of emergency. When the doctor came to discuss the crisis, Rose was left with the MP Harriet Jones to look after her. Harriet showed Rose the Slitheen were using skin suits to disguise themselves and had murdered officials to infiltrate Downing Street. Blonde fell Foch Pasimir Day Slitheen entered the room and strangled Indra Ganesh. TV, Aliens of London, after Indra was killed, the doctor, using an electrified ID badge to remotely electrocute the rest of the Slitheen family, saved Harriet and Rose from the same fate. He later found them and distracted the Slitheen before Harriet guided them to the cabinet room. Inside, the doctor shut them behind a steel barrier. The doctor learned the spaceship belonged to the Slitheen, who planned to reduce Earth to radioactive waste to sell as cheap fuel on the intergalactic market, using nuclear launch codes held by the United Nations. The doctor contacted Mickey telling him to launch the Harpoon missile, UGM-84A, at Downing Street from the HMS Torian. Rose found a small, sturdy cupboard inside the cabinet room, and while the Slitheen were destroyed by the missile, the doctor, Harriet, and Rose wrote out the explosion in the room. Much to her shock, Rose learned Harriet would become prime minister for three successful terms for Britain's golden age. 
Packing some belongings to continue traveling with the doctor, Rose promised her mother that the next time she'd see them, it would be ten seconds later. Unknown to Rose, however, she would not return when she said she would. TV, World War III. The doctor and Rose traveled to London in 1966 to the site of Rose's estate before it was built. They had discovered someone had been changing history, and a housing development called Brandon Muse had been built on the estate's future, even though there should have been nothing there except fields. The doctor went to a pub to check the Daily Mirror for any other alterations to history, and discovered the football score in the World Cup had England scoring an extra goal against West Germany. While the doctor had learnt from Charlotte Cobb that her husband Peter Cobb had mysteriously died after being followed by Lenda Handgirls, Rose had gone to Lenda Handhouse and found that humans were also being converted into Lenda Handgirls. While the doctor discovered Igrix's plans to destroy the moon and prevent humanity from venturing out into space, killing any scientist who would create things that would make people unhappy, Rose went to Peter's office to find out why he could have been murdered, discovering Peter's work on DNA resequencing. Igrix's first major step was to destroy the moon in 1966, preventing any staging post from which to break out into space. With the help of Peter's papers, the doctor created a virus containing genetic instructions from Rose in the form of perfume, which Rose threw at the Lenda hand girls, which were initially made up of female humans, but later included biotechnology grown from Kustal and gene stuff, making them humans with human instructions. The doctor and Rose climbed to the top of the post office tower to stop Igrix using his spaceship to fire at the moon. The doctor did this by spraying the human virus at his biotech ship. The ship refused to take orders from Igrix and flew into space to explore and spend some quality time with Igrix. Setting history back on course, the doctor used his sonic screwdriver to destroy the housing development and make them start over and build Rose's future home. Comic The Love Invasion the doctor took Rose to see the Mona Lisa at the grand opening of the Oriole, a transdimensional art gallery in the 37th century, only for the doctor to find that all the humanoids in the gallery, including Rose, had been enslaved by an artist called Kaskelf. Kaskelf used the psychic energy of the visitors to send a distress signal to his people so he could return home, but the doctor freed Rose and set up a feedback loop, returning the stolen psychic energy back to its owners. The signal was still successfully sent but Kaskelf's people did not arrive at the Oriole. The doctor took Kaskelf to his homeworld, which had been devastated by a disaster. Afterwards, Kaskelf returned to Earth. Expecting to face consequences, the materialization of the TARDIS before the visitors made them believe this was all part of a performance art piece. The doctor advised Kaskelf to delight and amaze them. Comic. Art attack. The doctor took Rose on a cruise on 22nd century Mars, where the two were stowaways on the cruise ship holding a private wedding party of 143-year-old plutocrat Ovar Chambers. When Ovar ordered the doctor to be thrown into the Martian Sea, the doctor's body was taken over by a body-stealing entity that ate people by feeding on their worst fears, putting them into a state where their identities would dissolve within it while they were dreaming. The entity tormented Rose with a nightmare of what felt like her entire lifespan where the doctor came back too late in Rose's life for her to be a companion and stole her daughter in this dream world, Susanna to travel with him as his own companion. Rose saw through this illusion and found the real doctor trapped within the entity, tasking her with freeing its surviving victims while the doctor dealt with the actual creature, although Ovar and his new wife Susanna didn't make it. As the creature required a stable image refracted in the air to sustain itself, the doctor used the artificial air inside the cruise ship's air bubble to create a tornado. The doctor believed that it was still out there, waiting to happen again, but hoped this meant the humans would start treating Mars with respect now. Comic. The Cruel Sea. The doctor and Rose traveled to a Vandosian ship, saving Phil Tyson from execution by the Vandos Tribunal. While escaping, Phil saved the doctor and Rose from the bailiffs and made it to the TARDIS. The tribunal threatened to destroy Great Britain if Phil wasn't handed over to them. They fired, but thanks to the doctor's earlier efforts, the ship backfired on itself. Returning Phil home, the doctor explained that Shogolath was, in fact, the leader of a peaceful revolt against the Imperium and a hero. Phil departed their company with a new lease on life, seeking to make a good future for himself. Comic. Mr. Nobody, the doctor and Rose met Emily Bronte. Audio, The Window on the Moor. 